Now we're joined by the Delta State Commissioner for Information, Mr. Charles Anyagu, joining us. Uh, thank you so much for being on the program this afternoon. Thank you, thank you very much, Olumide. Governor Ifanyo Koa has embarked on a number of projects in the education sector, youth empowerment as well, road infrastructure. We saw him at that location just now trying to make sure that they bring that project to completion. Can you tell us what has been achieved in these areas in the last seven years of this administration? Well, thanks for giving me this uh, privilege to be able to talk to Nigerians and indeed uh, point out a number of things we have achieved in the last uh, eight years. In 2014, ahead of the 2015 general elections, Governor Kowa came up with a five-point agenda called Name Smart. And those five-point agenda embody their policy priorities, specifically in the area of creating jobs, which we call strategic wage creation through job creation, and that we have been able to achieve. The M, which is a meaningful uh, peace-building platforms, which is also targeted at creating harmony and peaceful coexistence among the different ethnic groups in Delta, that we have also recorded appreciable progress. Then the A, which is um, agricultural reforms and industrialization, we have tried to move agriculture from subsistence level to a level where even the youth can engage in commercial agriculture, whether in the area of crop production, in the area of animal production, to the extent that we now have a whole lot of uh, our people who are into fishery, into sneery, pigry, and the likes. And then the R is a relevant reforms in the education and the health sector. And that we have also recorded appreciable progress to the extent that as at the last time, last count, we established three brand new universities all at once, the only state in Nigeria to be able to do that at once. And today we have four functional universities. They are not just state universities. They are not just universities that are open just like any other one that every month they are on strike. In our state, even when other states in the federation went on strike, our schools were in session because we have done the needful, which uh, many people have not been able to achieve in a number of states and indeed even the federal government. And that's why you could see our lecturers and our students in their classrooms while others were still very much busy at home. At that time, we had the eight month strike across the length and breadth of this country. And then in the area of the health sector, we've been able to also establish um, a, a very wonderful referral hospital, uh, more like a tertiary hospital here in Asaba, called Asaba Specialist Hospital, and many other hospitals. And we have been able to revamp a number of uh, general hospitals across the 25 local government areas in the state. And then the T is what we call Transform Environment through Urban Renewal. We have been able to add verb to a number of um, urban cities. Uh, Delta is one state where you have a whole number of urban areas, unlike most states where the moment you move out of the state capital, every other place looks like an hamlet. Once you come here, you are traveling, whether you are going to Aguashiku, you are going to Kuala, you are going to Wari, Ugili, Abo, Saple, Obi Aroko, or even if you want to move to, uh, towards um, Abraka, or even Asaba, which is the state capital, you could see a whole lot of urbanization. And so eight years down the line, a whole lot have been achieved in line with the smart agenda. But most importantly, we've been able to create a whole number of jobs, thousands of deltans who were engaged, not by just employing them into the civil service, my brother Ulumide, but ensuring that they become entrepreneurs, training now, them, equipping them, mentoring them, and monitoring the level of progress they are recording in the course of their, uh, running their enterprise. Now, thousands of youth have also been able to benefit from Governor Kowal's youth empowerment. You. Yes, thousands of youth have benefited from Governor Kowal's youth empowerment program, as well as other programs, do you think that these programs will be sustained by the incoming administration? Well, let me tell you, I, I have part of that question. I can assure you that the incoming administration will be able to sustain the very uh, lofty ideas of the ukowa led administration, particularly in the area of job creation. Reason being that the governor elect has, is not a learner in the whole process. He has been part and parcel of all the processes. He has presided over the status of assembly for a period of six years and counting. And that is a, a no mean, it's not, it's not a mean feat. And uh, nobody in the history of Delta has been able to achieve that. Either some fall by the wayside on account of the usual banana pee that characterize the legislative arm of government, or in the course of time, they are not able to stand uh, and possibly withhold the murky waters of the legislative arm. But to borrow worry, the governor elect has been able to see through a number of uh, bills which made it possible for Governor Kowa to record this appreciable progress that we're talking about. Because of course, you know that the budgeting is at the center of it all, and Oburuwuri has been part of it. But beyond being part of the budgeting process in the House of Assembly, 
Uburoburi is also in touch with the grassroots. He understands that appreciable progress has been recorded in the area of ensuring that our people get employed and become entrepreneurs in their own right. He also appreciates the fact that the number of roads, over 2,000 kilometers of road have been built in the last eight years, and the need for us to, con to connect most of our hinterlands and other coastal communities is quite um, uh, paramount. And much as he understands that, he's also much, very much at home that in Delta, that there is a need to still continue to empower our brothers and sisters in the creeks by taking projects to them the same way Okowa has done. So that okay. the peace that we enjoy to will continue. So we are quite convinced that he will do more and advance data to a, 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 the next level. We certainly wish him the best in that regard. And uh, the, for, for a good uh, conclusion of this administration, thank you so much, Mr. Charles Anyagu, the Information Commissioner thank of Delta thank State. Thank you very much, my brother.